Hi there, my name is Taylor Coplin, and welcome back to another MA2 tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be going over stage sweeps, which we're going to be taking advantage of this fade right here and this delay right here, which is something I feel like is looked over a lot, and this is pretty easy to do. So here in our layout view, we have 30 fixtures, and this is just going to be used for our example. It doesn't matter how many or quantity, what matters is how you select them. So if we wanna make a stage sweep going from left to right, what we're going to do is we're gonna just do this row by row, okay? So we're gonna select our first line of fixtures. Notice how I'm starting from the left-hand side, I'm making my way to the right-hand side. I'm gonna select that, and then I'm gonna say, go to full. Okay, so now they're at their full intensity. Now what I wanna do is I wanna come over here to delay, and I'm gonna, Click that and then where it says dim here, I'm gonna open that. And then I'm gonna do zero through one, okay? And that's saying is zero seconds through one second, okay? So it's gonna take a full second to go from 0% to 100% going left to right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit store and we'll just put this on a executor fader here, okay? So now we can clear out of that. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for my second row. Make my selection. Full, delay, and then I'm gonna copy and paste that just to make it a little faster. I'm gonna hit store, and I'm going to merge onto the one we just stored before. Okay, and then actually I'm gonna open this up just to make it a little easier to see. Clear that out again, and now I'm gonna make my third selection. We're gonna go to full, and then right here, that's what we want store and then merge into that same queue so now what you'll see is if i fire this queue it will all go left right oh i messed up on that last one so we'll just do that last one again i'm gonna off that make my selection full come over here delay and then store merge clear all right so now if i click this the all turn on going left to right so it's really cool and now to make them all turn off, we'll just do the opposite. So we'll off this, and then we'll take our first selection, we'll say at zero, please. So now it's recording a dimmer value of zero. Go to delay, and we will do this again. But then for this time, so when we store, we're gonna create second queue, okay? So now we'll say this is our on queue, and this is our off queue. I think you can see where this is going from here. We'll make our selection at zero, go to delay, and then put our time in. We'll store that and we'll store into our off queue and we'll merge. Clear that out. And then one last time at zero, delay. This is the amount, store, off, cool. So now when I hit uh, go on this queue, it's gonna turn on. And then when I hit go again, it's gonna turn off. What I like to do is I like to make this a follow, right? And then I'll do like a trigger time of like, I don't know, 0 0.2 or something. Now when I hit go, there you go, it just automatically does it. Make that zero. Or you know what? Let's make this a time-based queue. That way you'll trigger a little faster. There you go. And now you have this nice little stage sweep. And depending on what you adjust this to will determine the thickness of your sweep. You see, I just increased by 0.3 there. And now we have a thicker sweep. So that's just one example. You can do this to the dimmer, to the position, gobo color, everything in here you can make it apply to. So like another cool example would to be, so I have uh, here my master, I have the intensity here. I'm just gonna bring these up. And then let's say I wanna, make this this top row here i'm going to clear out make sure i'm not selecting anything i don't need to select i'm going to make it i don't know i want to make it blue sure we can do fade and then same thing here we'll do the zero through one i'm gonna hit store and we'll go to another executor so now when i clear out so before it was a delay which means it was a quick it goes from your base value, in this case it was zero, all the way up to our top value, in this case it was 100, and it was just snapping on. With a fade, you will see it's going to do the same thing that we wanted it to do, but this time 
it's going to fade in. Oh, well, theoretically. <laughs> Did I? I must have not recorded that properly. We'll delete that. We'll try this again. Oh, because I was still in my dimmer tab. That was my mistake. So we'll make our selection going left to right again. We'll go into color. Okay, we'll go into fade. Make sure this is selected. Enter and fade. And then our fade time in. There we go. And you see it applies it to everything. We'll store that into here. And now when I hit go, you have this nice little fade, right? Pretty cool. And you see it goes left to right. It's pretty quick. Um, if we were to do a delay rather than a fade, so then I, don't know, I want this second row to go red, but instead of doing fade, I'll do delay. Come over here, hit enter. And we'll store merge into there. Now when I hit go, pretty nifty, right? But there's one more thing you can do with this. You can take advantage of a matrix with this, which is really, really cool. And we'll use a uh, matrix on our last row here. So on our last row, we'll make our selection. We'll say this one's going to be orange. Uh, let's do pink. There we go. Or magenta, sorry. But on this, I'm going to open up my matrix menu. I'm going to do wings of two. Okay. So now whenever I go to delay and I type in my value and we'll store merge. Now, when I play this, watch what this bottom row does. Oh, it's symmetrical. How cool is that? Right. And of course you would do the off value. Right. So if we want to make them go back to white, you do white and then make a second queue and do all that. But that's a super cool, quick and easy way to make these little stage sweeps that, you know, just brighten up your show a little bit. You can change the directions of these. You can make them do whatever you want. You can use the matrix for the dimmer as well. Really anything here, as long as you, uh, you got to make sure you select what tab you're editing, right? That's the mistake I made earlier. Select what tab you're in and then go in here to the fade or delay and you are good to go. But yeah, really easy way to make stage sweeps. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you learned something, make sure to subscribe. Go check out my other videos. I have an entire series on MA tutorials that, you know, I want to teach y'all how to do MA stuff and it's cool and fun. Uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe, comment if you have any questions and like the video. It helps me out a ton and I will see you on the next one. Peace.